Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one and this is the episode, this is the day. Now we've had a rough spell where we couldn't go past 8 wins. Now we are a couple of games away from Justin Verlander being our 12th win reward. Will we get there? Now before that, I do have to say, if you haven't already, you can follow me on all social medias at BladeMist and also you can go ahead and check out some of the other dope content we drop on this channel if you do have some spare time after this video. So we're going to start off that inning real nicely. We gave up a base hit, but we got the double play right after. Scooter Jeanette is going to come up. He's going to get a nice little single. So now we have business on the bases. And then we have Eric Davis. He's going to hit one. Apple Taco is going to land right before the right fielder has a chance to make a play on it. And now we got runners on first and second. Gary Sanchez absolutely crushes one. And can somebody explain to me why Eric Davis was running back to first? I want you guys to pay close attention. And you guys can rewind this if you want. I never pressed return all. I never analogued him and sent him back. I had advance all pressed from the start. From the start, I had advanced all pressed. But he decided to go back. It was possible... Well, I don't think he would have scored there, to be honest. Well, maybe if they listened to me instantly when I had the user input, then yeah, probably he would have scored. Gary Sanchez would have gotten double because he has 94 speed. And on the base paths, it's just going to keep going up. He's just going to get faster. So I don't know what occurred right there, but I'm happy that we still got ourselves a run on the board. And that run was enough to actually get 11 wins. So this is the final boss. Usually being 100% honest with you guys after I get my first 12 win battle royale run whether it's a 12 and 0 run or a 12 and 1 run I break the curse and then going for 12 wins becomes a lot easier for me because it's like confidence in a way once you see yourself doing it you're no longer nervous or in a way it feels like nothing anymore I don't know how to explain it but it just feels like it's easy to do and it's not as hard as it once was just because you've seen yourself do it. I guess it's the way I work, the way my confidence works. Just know if we end up getting 12 wins here, my confidence is going to be through the sky. And Jorge Polanco hitting that two run dinger basically gave us two insurance runs, which we greatly appreciated. And now we're up 3-0. We're going to get one more base hit here right in the gap. Going to go ahead and stretch two here. Unfortunately, I do not believe I end up doing anything with that runner on second base. Well, actually, he got to third base. Scooter Jeanette, 3-2. He's going to actually bloop it in there for a single. So we actually drove that run in. I didn't even remember. And we are up 4-0. to zero. Now, Chris Davis, he's going to go ahead, hit an apple taco shot. Tony Gwynn is going to play it right off the wall perfectly, too. So we keep him to a single. That is fantastic right there. And then he's going to go ahead and get a late jam base hit. George Springer, you know, he doesn't have the best fielding, so that made perfect sense. And then with Ronald Acuna, we missed the location, but it didn't matter because we got the final out. And we finally did it. We broke the curse. And here's some live commentary. So we did it. We got 12 wins. Should have been a 12-0 run. Realistically speaking, I shouldn't have lost that game at 9-0. But it's perfectly fine. I'm happy that we got 12 wins regardless. Now, yes, I wanted that 12-0 because Justin Verlander, he's not too valuable. But for this series that we are currently doing, he is going to be extremely valuable. We're going to go ahead and put our boy the bronze, basically. Can we go and put him on the bench? Yes, we're going to put him on the bench for right now. So let's go ahead and promote all these players, even if we're just putting it on the bench. I want to open the pack as well and see who we get from the pack. Ryan Presley, he's going to become our closer. So that's off rip going to happen. And then Justin Verlander is now our ace. Let's go ahead and open the pack. Let's see who we get. Let's see if we get anybody that we can go ahead and add to this list. And we get Logan Forsythe and Matt Bush. So we'll take these two and just add them to the list. I'm pretty happy right now. Man, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Finally did it. Pretty happy. So let's go ahead and actually replace these guys off the bench. So 
we're going to have Jed Lowry playing second base for us or third base. I think we're going to put him at second base. And then the first baseman is most likely going to be Logan Forsythe. Oops, didn't mean to exit out right there. But Logan Forsythe can actually play shortstop for now until we get a better shortstop. And then we'll put the first baseman at first. But this is how the Avengers look as of right now. If we were to actually go into a ranked season game, we would have three common outfielders, uh, okay infield, and then our bench is still full of commons. Our starting rotation would only have one ace, and then our bullpen would have two above average players. Let's go ahead and keep on killing it in Battle Royale. Let's get this money, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button. And if you have any spare time, make sure you go ahead and check out other videos that we drop on the channel. Promise it won't disappoint. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.